Hey guys, what's up? Today you are going to learn the new timeline for Call of Duty, the present timeline for the Call of Duty new singular universe. Your minds may be blown. Before we get going, please be sure to smash that like button and subscribe so you can keep up with all the Call of Duty news and commentary to come. Things are about to get busy. Now, out of the 30 overall different games by story, yes, I said 30, and the 17 main title games, the story or singular universe now, only consists of around 9 games. The core games that most people know is Modern Warfare 2019 and Black Ops 1, with Black Ops Cold War being the link between the two. But there's more. World at War is the prequel to Black Ops 1, Reznov linking between both games. But also the character you play in the Russian portion of the campaign of World at War is the man you watch die in the Nova Chamber in Black Ops 1's campaign. So. Now we're at World at War to Modern Warfare, but it even goes back further than that. Treyarch's first COD was Call of Duty 3, and Call of Duty 3 is connected to Call of Duty 5 World at War via characters that have mentions or make cameos, such as Dixon or Leroy Huxley. So now we are at Call of Duty 3 to World at War, Black Ops 1 to Black Ops Cold War to Modern Warfare 2019. But wait, there's even more. In Call of Duty 3, you have James Doyle and Gerald Ingram, who are returning characters from Call of Duty United Offensive, which is a sequel campaign to Call of Duty 1. Not to mention Captain Price's granddaddy is in Call of Duty 1 and 2. So now we're at Call of Duty 1, 2, 3, World at War, Black Ops 1, Black Ops Cold War, and Modern Warfare 2019. But what about Black Ops Declassified for the PlayStation Vita? Is it canon, or does it fall under the same category as Black Ops 2 and get cut off? The story of Black Ops Declassified starts in the year 1990 and is narrated by a CIA investigator known by the name of Ryan Jackson. The missions that take place are flashbacks through the late 70s up to the 80s, basically missions between the end of Black Ops 1 and the 1980s flashbacks of Black Ops 2. One place visited twice in this campaign is Mount Yamantau. It holds a secret Soviet base that you destroy in Black Ops 1's campaign in the year 1968, but in this campaign Russians were able to save the base, and in 1977 it was discovered they were reutilizing the base for Nova 6. So, you go back, you fight, you leave, and then you find out one of your guys was captured. So, you go back again, then you activate some nuclear cores before you leave, and it insinuates that you blew up the base. The reason this is interesting is because Yamantau is not only uh, the description given to a multiplayer map in the upcoming Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, but also a description to a mission in Black Ops Cold War's campaign. So Black Ops Cold War may just be a soft reboot of Declassified, or just a continuation of Black Ops 1 that just runs over Black Ops Declassified, while possibly keeping some of the same campaign ideas and missions. But basically, in the end, you're playing as a mysterious CIA operative working with Hudson, sound familiar, uh, fighting a cartel and you end up killing Jose Menendez. And then you look over and see his son, Raul Menendez, but since he's not the target, you are told to let him go so his son escapes. And his son obviously ends up becoming the leader and terrorist Raul Menendez in Black Ops 2 story. So in the end, Black Ops Cold War may have some missions from Black Ops Declassified, but there's a huge chance the majority of the game will not be considered canon and will inevitably be left behind. Now, you may be thinking that's it. No more games with possible connections, but there was another connection found in Warzone. There's a Zombies in Spaceland reference found in countless places in the map. It's some type of form that says Spaceland at the top acknowledging the existence of said theme park uh, in the Warzone universe or the Modern Warfare Black Ops universe. This insinuates that Modern Warfare may in fact be connected to Infinite Warfare, that somewhere down the line, Infinite Warfare is still canon. And for those of you hoping that Call of Duty Ghost has the same chance of being canon, I'm sorry, it's not. The origin of Simon Ghost Riley and other ghosts has already been altered so much for Modern Warfare to the point where the story of COD Ghost will probably have to be rebooted if implemented, um, in some way possibly through uh, the next few Modern Warfare campaigns. Um, so this is as it stands, the timeline of Call of Duty games, including two possible connections. If this fascinated you, be sure to share to a friend. I think this should interest the whole community. But anyways, if you liked it, smack the like button. Also be sure to check out my video on the Black Ops Cold War zombie storyline when that drops in the zombies parallel timeline. Super cool stuff. Anyways, that's all I got for now. Please like, share, subscribe, comment down below, keep the conversation going, and I will catch you guys next time.